Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at something I found. Um, actually, this goes to the Mavic, but what I want to do is use this bigger tablet with my Spark and with the controller. But, uh, you know, and I've talked about this before, even with my 8-inch tablet, I mean, it doesn't fit. Now, in a prior episode, I printed these 3D printed adapters which go into the controller that allow me to hold sort of a mini tablet. But what happens if you want to do a mega tablet? Well, I ran across this, and I think this was like 20 bucks for the Mavic, and it says it also fits the smart Spark. Now, it comes with a couple different things that I like, so let's uh, do a little bit of unpackaging here and take a look at what it comes with in the, the package. So you, you have two clamps, you have an OTG or USB on-the-go cable, uh, which is cool, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And this is only the OSG part. You still need the um, USB-A to micro USB for this. We'll talk about that. And a lanyard clip to go around your neck. So let's, uh, let's see how this all fits together. So let's take these clips out. And uh, these are a little bit more beefy. They still appear to be plastic. I didn't know if they were plastic or some sort of metal. They are plastic and um, I'm assuming they fit into the controller. I don't know, something... There are no... Well, are there instructions with this? Everybody complains that I should read the instructions, but, you know, do you guys see any instructions with this? You know? Uh, half this stuff doesn't come with instructions. I just get a little perturbed with the people that say, have you read the, the instructions? Now, after a little figuring, I finally rationalized how these went together. So if you look at down here, what happens is this slides through here, and this locks on, which is actually pretty nice. And then uh, the same thing happens on this side, is this slides on and very nicely locks on. Now, uh, so that's pretty cool. And I like, again, how you you can rest your hands inside like this to operate it and so you can see how it works now one of the other things that i did discover with this too is it will not work with this um android tablet i have uh it is the android tablet is too thick to slide in here now i've got an older ipad 3 and even that is too thick. Even the iPad 3 is too thick. So this is only going to accept probably an iPad Air or something about that thickness, unfortunately. I'll have to take a look um, because the other piece is the uh, lanyard cable. Because again, what happens is this comes out, and this is the part that I, I really like, because with the tablet, I can also use a lanyard, because when you start getting to the larger tablet, it starts getting pretty heavy. Um, let me see here. So again, then obviously this goes around your neck. You can support the larger tablet, but unfortunately, this doesn't fit. So I'm really not sure. I'm really disappointed in this, and even the older iPads uh, don't fit. I have a number of the older iPads laying around, and I also have an iPad Air, uh, but that's upstairs. But yeah, this this won't even slide in. Um, I'm thinking that I could probably, since this is just plastic, heat these up and spread these out uh, a little bit. Um, to get uh, this tablet to go in because I'm assuming that this is just like ABS plastic or something so I may give that a shot uh, to get that to work okay so I tried putting some heat uh, to these with a heat gun and I tell you that did not come out too well as the this is some pretty solid plastic now I was able to open it up enough where I could get this smaller tablet in and you can kind of hopefully see how it works. I can also get the older iPad in now, but I still can't get the thicker Android, uh, you know, 9 and, uh, you know, 10 inch Android tablet in there. So that's a little bit disappointing. I do have the um, uh, OTG working, and uh, one of the pieces that um, 
if you're having problems with the OTG, what you have to do is start the application, then plug it in, and Android will ask which app do you want to use with it, and then you select the DJI Go 4 app, because I was having a lot of problems doing that until I did that, and now it, it works fine. And as you can see here, I've got my screens, and uh, I've just got the, the uh, cord wrapped around down here. I think I'm going to come up with something a little bit better for this. Um, but I, I, like, I like the fact these mounts are really, really solid. And, um, I mean, you really can't beat that. And, and so uh, I just wish they were a little bit thicker. I, I don't know if I can maybe machine them out. But if you have an iPad Air, if you're using this with like an iPad Air, uh, which I think is about the only iPad Air and on up is about the only thing that will run the DJI Go 4 app, uh, then I think you'll be okay. Well, I know you'll be okay because uh, it'll fit that. But if you're running an Android tablet or something any thicker than really much more thicker than an Air, uh, this probably isn't going to work. I'll have the links for this down below. Also, I'll have uh, there's probably a card coming up. I've set up a, a Spark accessory page out on videodrone.diy3dtech.com. Uh, so if you're interested, you know, just hit the card. As I find new and interesting things for the Spark, I put it out there. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting, and maybe I saved you some grief. If you got an Android tablet, I wouldn't get this. If you have an Apple tablet, I would highly recommend this. This is really solidly built. And, I mean, I put 500 degrees of heat on there, and I could barely bend these. these this plastic is like metal. And the way it also grips onto the controller is phenomenal. So, you know, kudos on the design. Just wish these were adaptable. And I like the lanyard concept too because this, this even with the smaller tablet will get a little bit heavy. So if you found this interesting, maybe I saved you a few coins or turned you on to something new. Hey, hit that subscribe button. Check me out in the comments below. Let me know what you had for lunch and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.